Hey, welcome back everyone. So today we're actually gonna be talking about something that took me forever to figure out, and that's how to get bling on my natural nails without having to coat them completely in gel and without having to worry about whether or not they're gonna last as long as my manicure does. The last thing you wanna do is spend a lot of money getting this beautiful crystal set up on your nails, and then two, three days later, all of a sudden you have these stones that are starting to pop off. So I'm gonna help everyone out there who's watching the videos out right now. I'm gonna let you know what product to use and what method you should be using to apply your stones. So regardless of the product that you use, the process should still be the same. You want to make sure that your stones adhere really good to your nail, but you don't want to cover them completely. I use Swarovski crystals and something that makes Swarovski so unique is that they have so many facets and so many cuts on their crystals. It really makes it very brilliant and you don't want to cover that with gel. So I'm actually going to show you today how to properly apply flat back crystals onto your nail. Um, I'm going to show you the product that I use and overall step by step how I put the stones on there and seal them in to ensure that the manicure is not going to outlast the crystals on the nails. So let's get to the super cute bling work and see how we make the magic happen. So for this crystal setup we're going to be doing flat stones. Um, a really important step to make sure is done before you apply crystals is crystals are going to go on the very top of your nail product. So once your top coat's already done that's when I go in and start applying the crystals. Uh, and because we already applied a top coat, um, I get my buffer and we want to buff it down just a little bit. We don't need to buff it a great deal. We don't want to take away any of the polishing that we actually did on the nail, but you want to have a very good um, kind of like abrasive surface. So that way the product that you're using is going to adhere much better to the nail than if it were just smooth. It also makes sure that we don't have any oils on there. Maybe we rubbed it. But we want to make sure that we smooth it out. I'm going to be doing a pretty long crystal placement throughout the length of the nail. That's why I'm buffing a good amount. Uh, on this one, we're going to place a couple crystals too, but it's really going to be centered around the middle. I'm still going to lightly go around the edges, but I'm really just going to focus on buffing this middle part. Okay, I already have my crystals already set up in my little dish right here. Uh, tools you're probably going to need is a nice uh, kind of crystal picker upper. Some of them use the crystal katana, crystal ninjas, any striper brush because we're going to need to go around the stones really nicely with the product. And then I actually use uh, this cuticle pusher I only use for when I'm doing my gem products. Now this right here is the bread and butter of gem placement. Ugly Duckling Nails. This is called Stick It Gel. I have been putting crystals on my nails for about five years and I've tried almost any product that I came across, bling on, um, gem gel adhesive, a ton. And neither product ever gave me the results that this did from the moment I used it. It's amazing. And look how much, I don't know if you can see how much I still have in there. This is the only one I've been using since December. I do a lot of... Uh, crystal clusters on my nails. I always have crystals on my nails. Um, a little bit goes a long way. This right here is what everyone needs to have. It took me five years almost to find this. So I'm giving you guys a little secret. Go and get it. It's the best. So with my little pusher here, I'm just going to take a little bit. You're going to lay it down wherever you're going to place your crystals. For right now, I'm just going to do even flat placement. I just need them to get on there so I can arrange them the way that I like. That way they don't move around. It doesn't need to be perfect. Now we start placing. going to do now before I go ahead and cure this first step is I want to make sure that my crystals are nice and even in a nice straight line. So I look at it right there and it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, go ahead and put that one in. Now there's not a lot of gel there. What we're, what we're going to do is just cure it for a few seconds so it stays still because we still need to seal around the stones. 
I just want to make sure that it's not going to move as I'm brushing around it. Now this part can be a little meticulous, but um, making sure that you're being careful is really important because we use Swarovski crystals and the best thing about Swarovski is all the facets and the cuts that it has. It really makes it very brilliant and sparkly and we don't want to take any of that away by putting gel over the stone. So with my striper brush, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start filling in and going all around the stones. My system is I get a nice seal all around the outside and then I'll go in and start getting in between and making sure I don't miss any spots. But for right now, we're just gonna do the outer edge. Now that I've gone all around the edge, I'm going to start carefully going in and pretty much outlining each stone. And for this, I'd really recommend to kind of use an old striper brush that you don't really care too much about. Um, because with striper brushes, and we'll go over that in another video, you want to make sure that you're keeping them nice and um, fine point at the tip so they don't get all ratty and it starts affecting you and you make straight lines. So grab an old striper brush, keep it around so that way you can use it for stuff like this. It's really important when you're going in between the stones that you kind of dap in the middle, almost like creating a little a little facet, like if you're setting it like a setting in a stone. You want to be able to come up to the edge. Let me see if you could see it here, put your hand on the side. You want to be able to put the gel around, but make sure that you're grabbing the edge of the stone with the gel, not just at the bottom. You get it up and it almost kind of creates a little a little bit of a gel, it goes right around that edge. And when that cures, that's gonna hold, keep that stone in place, especially for the bigger stones. So definitely make sure that you're coming up and putting that gel from the base all the way to the top edge. <laughs> Right there, I feel really confident with the way that I've gone around it. And we'll double check it again just to make sure. But now we're going to go ahead and go ahead and put that one in. We're going to fully cure it. If you notice that you got a little bit of gel on top of the stone, just um. Wipe it off if you can. I sometimes I use my nail, or grab a, a cotton pad, um, not actual cotton balls because they're too fuzzy, and just kind of wrap it on your nail. Wet it really good with acetone so that, that way you can easily wipe it. Especially on the bigger stones, it'll be much easier. But you do have an opportunity to clean that gel up if it goes a little too much into the stone before you cure it. Once you cure it, it'll be a little bit harder to take that off. Okay. Now from here, I'm just going to inspect. And I feel really good about the way that got set in. And since I'm using a bigger stone, I always wanna make sure that it is totally filled in. And we're looking pretty good on that. Now this one, we're gonna do a smaller decoration.
now we're going to go around, make sure that we seal them in really, really good. Missing someone. And now we have our stone placements exactly the way that we wanted it. Uh, I added a couple little gold flakes there. I think that looks super beautiful. Sometimes you get the best ideas on the fly. Um, now we need to reapply a top coat because we've buffed the rest of the nail. Um, I strictly only use my Shine On, my Accents No Wipe Top Coat uh, because it doesn't wipe, but it's also very thick. It has a really nice thick consistency, which is going to help cover up the little ridges from um, the gel that I put that placed the stones on there. And very carefully, I'll apply top coat around the edges because I do not want to cover my nails. And then I'll just put a little dapple of it right there. Use my striping brush. You want to try and make sure to put this top coat uh, all over the places that you put your stick it gel or any other gem gel or shine on any other adhesive that you're using they normally once they're cured and you wipe them they're normally not as shiny as a top coat and you might notice that difference and we don't want it to look any different so I make sure that I use my shine on with my striper and I go around all the edges of the stones in between the stones wherever that gem adhesive that I used went, that's where I'm putting my shine on. Okay, now there we have it, a super beautiful gem placement, Swarovski placement. And again, this product that I use is the absolute best. I wear my stones, my manicures in general for four to five weeks at a time. And that's every single time for like the last four and a half years. Um, ever since I started using this product, my gems stay there 100% of the time throughout the entire duration of my manicure. Now this is a no wipe top coat, but because I was putting the wax tip on the stones, I'm just wiping it off so you could really see super pretty now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the next hand
so there we have it guys in the beginning it might take a little bit more time um, and patience and making sure that you're doing it the right way but practice makes perfect I've said that a million times before already I'm sure you're sick of it uh, but it is totally true practice 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 you'll get much better at it much more efficient uh, so that you're not spending so much time but there's nothing more rewarding than giving your clients a bling manicure that they're gonna show off for weeks uh, big rules that I have for clients that have anything on top of their nail is don't rub them we're gonna be going over a video on how rubbing really affects your manicure uh, but when you have bling on your nails the last thing you want to do is sit there and rub and rub and rub because then you start wearing away all the ceiling that was around those stones which will make them more likely to get water inside which will make it more easier to pop off so rule of thumb just don't touch your nails so today we just went over flat stones. Next week I'll be sharing with you how to apply those same techniques and what to do when you're doing a cluster. Um, the stones that come out of the nails that aren't flat, again, those are the chitons and the rivolis. Definitely make sure you stay tuned. Stay tuned on my Instagram. I'll be posting all the pictures on how wearable this particular client's manicure is and how many weeks she was able to wear her stones. So don't miss out on that. Uh, I love posting the follow-up to the videos so that way you guys can see the real result of everything that I'm trying to teach you so you know what you can expect and what you have to look forward to. So down below are going to be all the links for the products that I use. Um, I am in no way affiliated or sponsored with any of these products. I only use what I use because it's been proven effective and it's something that I can count on. So I'm comfortable in sharing that and recommending it to you. Make sure that you've liked and subscribed if you haven't already. I'll forgive you, but make sure that you don't leave this video without doing it. We have lots more content that's going to be coming up. And in the meantime, I hope everyone has enjoyed this little tutorial on bling. And I look forward to bringing you a couple more tips and tricks on leveling that bling up. So thank you again, everybody, for tuning in. I will see you guys next week with more awesome content. In the meantime, I hope you're killing the rest of your week and have an awesome weekend. Yeah, cause it's safe, yeah, cause it's safe.